Sebastian's gonna, so gonna break something. I've been told that. I've been told Shia LaBeouf. I've been told Pete Davidson multiple times. I don't know why. Oh, the beaner cleaner. <laughs> Wait, you're Mexican? No, I'm like this much Puerto Rican. I mean, look at his head. It looks like a bean. No! Right now, you look like Paul Giamatti with that hair, dude. <laughs> Where's Little Big Planet? I'm gonna play second boy. <laughs> Where the fuck am I supposed to floor it here? Makes me. <laughs> okay, you're good. You're good. There's live crash coming at you. With the RS3. It's surprisingly fast. <gasps> All right. It is Sunday. You know what that means? It's grocery shopping day. Today I'm doing the shopping, so we're going to Whole Foods. I get all my meat at Whole Foods, all the, the stuff where I care more about the quality. If you want to put it that way at Whole Foods, I like to get my grass fed prime steak here. And after that, we'll go and hit a more low tier store for the peasants like ShopRite or Acme and get the rest of the stuff there that doesn't really matter, like the rice and grains and oats. But for the meat, they need the fresh cuts here. So we're going to go in there and grab all that. What's the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard? They let you use these, but they don't give you fucking bags that you check out retards when they're mushy like guac i hate it like you know how guac's like the mushy avocado texture i fucking can't stand that i like that's supposed to be i like to cube it where it's hard and it's just like a little little chunk why are these ones like white and those are yellow ripeness oh. Josh, i could have swore 30 seconds ago you talked about you're getting meats here i get all the good shit here and then the other shit i just go to shop right for <laughs> this is you know fruit it's organic can't Good. Eat it. It's better, yeah. It tastes better, feels better, produce better results. Eighteen divided by two is nine. Nine, nine days of eggs for ten ninety nine. It's a dollar a day. A dollar a day keeps it. Oh. How much lemon juice do you need? Like a little tiny one, like six ounces or more? What are you talking about right now, tonight? At a mom, man. I don't even know what that is. You get what you get, and you don't get upset. <laughs> All right, deal with it. I think she has to say. I know the list. She just likes to make recommendations. Can you hear this? Look at it. Point it here. Point it here. Ready? Ooh. How the legs wake up. What is all this shit? Hip, hip. Da, 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 da. Does anybody walk in here and just know what this shit is? Or like, like this looks like something that was in Shark Tank. Are you a fan of hot sauce? You should I had Louisiana brand hot sauce. This is what they gave us in jail. <laughs> you know the weird thing about jail is like sometimes it's so weird because there's only one thing that will remind me of it. And it's like a specific smell. When I go anywhere, there's a, there will be like this scent and it will immediately just bring me back there. And it's like this insane feeling of, I think it's anxiety. I don't know. <laughs> getting robbed right now. What? One store down. One store down. How you got one more to go? Two hundred dollars in one week in one store so far. Bulk on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> Just spent six hundred dollars in a week. Here's the news flash. Bodybuilding's fucking expensive. There's no way around it. I mean you could eat that fucking garbage chicken from Walmart. And get some disease, then you end up like those kids on TikTok that don't stop dancing. <laughs> but me, I'd rather not go down that route. Not yet, at least. Not yet. <laughs> get my pasture raised eggs, keep my mind right, keep my brain functioning. <laughs> I'm like a 1980s police officer. <laughs> 1990s porn star. Oh, that's the mustache. Yeah, that's the stash. When's that's that coming back? It's gotta come back. I don't know what's gonna happen with the hair here, so. See, I lost my hair. Sometimes, I don't even know what I'm saying. I feel like I feel like I'm actually retarded, and it all comes back to the fact of what I was just saying before. It's like, 
when I was younger, I didn't have the money to shop at Whole Foods, so I was eating that Walmart food, and <laughs> it fucking rotted my brain. <laughs> and I'm trying to get over it. I'm trying to improve and, you know, just move on from it. Move on from that and just become a better human. I'm watching my diet. I'm watching the quality of the food more so than just the actual macronutrients. And it's worked a little bit, but that shit never leaves you. I'm fucked forever. One time I hit somebody in Pittsburgh. <laughs> All right, we have arrived at the second store here. This guy's got a sea turtle. I actually had that. Wow, I had that exact same sea turtle. <laughs> um, we're at Acme. Got to get the rest of the stuff here. So we're going to grab, you know, oats, rice. Uh, we need ground beef here. I mean, I fucking hate doing this. I never go shopping. She always does the shopping. You know, right now, my entire left leg is numb. It's not numb. It's actually just excruciating on fire from my sciatic nerve from walking around. People always ask me too, they're like, how do you deal with your sciatic pain and the fact that like your back is just completely out of place because I have an eight millimeter disc extrusion? Um, and the answer is this. <laughs> That's the only way. I mean, I'm not gonna take painkillers, right? <laughs> so I'm just fucking... Lean on something. Yeah, lean on something. This is the vice. <laughs> ah! Oh, yeah. And the oatmeal. The oatmeal is good for the prep, yeah. Quaker. This guy was a colonizer. Sparked my interest. You have to remember that for. I don't need no meal in off season, anyways. This is a 92 8. They have 96 square up there. Nah, I don't need that. I can that. Get raid. There's a black widow with two nests of eggs downstairs. Eat How does she know that? There's no way she knows what a black widow is. Do you feel it? The vibe? Where's the fucking rage? <laughs> this is fries. This one's called Hot Shot. I think the Hot Shot's as good as the raid. The raid only says Ansem Roach. For use around children. That's good. That's good to know. This is a sponsored post right now by Raid. If your child's ever acting up and he keeps saying naughty words, this is safe for children. So you just spray this in their mouth. They're not gonna like the taste. They'll never say that word again. What is this? What? What is what? the fuck? <laughs> what is going on? Sweet, honey, and spice. You found it? Yeah. yeah. Whatever. What is this? Ah, Jesus fucking Christ. I just think it's fucking crazy here how they don't give you bags, but then you gotta bag your own shit with the bags you gotta pay for, too. <laughs> AI's gonna take over. It is. Literally. You gotta do everything. I'm in a bagger. It's not a job anymore. There's no more baggers in Jersey. They fill your gas up though. That's cool. That's kind of cool. Grand total for this is 135. So you're at a whopping 330 for the day. 335 for the day. And uh, some of this stuff will last a week. Some of it will last a bit longer, two weeks. The condiments might last forever. Who knows? But that's just the way it goes. Back in Mikasa, we got everything that we need for the meal plan here. So we got about, each one of these is like three, three pounds of chicken. So three, six, nine pounds of chicken here. These are each pound each. We got five pounds of beef. We got flank steak. We got sirloin. We got salmon. I got pineapple. I got mushrooms. I got my rice. I got the avocado spray. I got the blueberries. I got the eggs. Got the oats and got some condiments here as well. And this pretty much covers all the bases, everything I'm eating right now in my plan. There's some other stuff, just like whey, of course. But how long do you think this will last? Like a week. So this meat itself will last about a week. Also take into account there's two people eating this, but she eats significantly less than I do. So who is just me if you maybe Maybe, maybe a week and a half. Yeah, maybe a week. Probably a week. This fruit, this will be gone this week. It's kind of easily gone this week. The eggs, it's gone this week. Yeah, all this is pretty much a week's worth of food. Now let's actually go over what the current meal plan entails because there's three different variations. There's my leg day plan, my upper day, any upper days, and then my off day. Is that what I look like? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Turn that back around. <laughs> all right, so as of right now, 15 weeks out, this is the current plan. 
for all upper days, meal one is going to be 60 grams of protein from whey isolate. Then we got 80 grams of oatmeal. Obviously, that's way dry, uncooked. And we got 90 grams of blueberries. Meal number two, we got 165 grams of lean meat, which could be chicken, ground beef. I mean, not, not ground beef, ground turkey, 99%. It could be shrimp, could be salves, could be uh, white fish if I wanted to. Yeah, white cod, tilapia. 165 grams is six ounces around that, yeah. And then we got 200 grams of rice as well. Both of those are always weighed cook. Meat, rice, always weighed cook. Then we got for our intra workout, we got 25 grams of highly branched cluster dextrin. So that's gonna be intra from raw. As you guys know, you always use code SEV if you want to from raw. I love their intra workout. And then post workout for meal number four, we got 225 grams of grilled chicken or 99% lean turkey. So I don't know, was that like around seven. eight ounces? Seven, eight? Something like that. Seven. Okay, 225 grams. Oh, no, eight. Yeah, it's eight. eight. Yeah, okay. And then we got 360 grams of rice and 100 grams of pineapple with that meal as well. That's actually meal three, not meal four, my bad. And then for meal four, we got 225 grams of lean meat again with 180 grams of greens, vegetables. Um, I'm probably not gonna eat those. <laughs> and then meal five, I'll, I'll start eating the vegetables once I actually get hungry. Once I actually like wanna eat food. Right now, this is still pushing food kinda. And then meal five, we got 280 grams of steak or salmon, or it could be ground beef as well, lean ground beef. And then another greens, and then 125 grams of pineapple with that as well. And that's gonna be all the meals for the upper day. For the lower day, a lot of the meals are the same. There's slightly more carbs. So we got meal one is 60 grams of whey isolate, 60 grams of protein from whey isolate, 80 grams of oats, 90 grams of blueberries, 165 grams of lean meat, 270 grams of white rice, so that's more, 70 grams more than the previous day. Then we got 25 grams of highly branched cluster dextrin again, intra, and then post workout, we got 225 grams of grilled chicken, 99% or 99% turkey, and then again, 360 grams of white rice, 165 grams of pineapple with this one, and then for meal four, we got 225 grams of lean meat again, and with this one, we actually have 180 grams of white rice, and the previous day, there's no rice with that meal. And then for the last meal, Pretty much the same, 280 grams of steak, salmon, or lean ground turkey, not beef, not turkey. And then pineapple, again, 165 grams. And for the off day, we got 60 grams of protein from whey isolate and 80 grams of oats. For meal two, we got 225 grams of any fatty meat, so that's gonna be steak, 93% beef or salmon, and then greens as well. Again, probably not gonna eat those, not right now at least. Meal three, we got 225 grams of lean meat and then 15 grams of fat range from an avocado. So that's approximately around 75 grams of an avocado or you could use like a, t a tablespoon of actual oil and drizzle that over the meat. And then for meal four, we got 225 grams of lean meat again or greens. And then for meal five, we just repeat meal two. So that's gonna be 225 grams of fatty meat. So steak, ground beef, or salmon, again, with greens. So there's pretty much no carbs in the off day besides for that first initial meal, the way the oats. And that is pretty much where I'm at for, right now, being 15 weeks out. I don't know the macros on those. I don't know the total calories. I don't care about those. I just follow the plan as, as it's written and we adjust the portions as necessary based off of my response. This is a good lesson actually, because what a lot of guys will do, and I do this in my classes as well, because I don't give macros, I don't give the total caloric intake unless it's absolutely necessary, because for one reason, what I do know is that, first of all, we don't need to do it. It's really not as important as people think. When you have experience, you just know what food approximately adds up to around. You know, you know the approximate amount of protein, caloric intake, and whatnot. But really, it's just acclimating your body to a certain point and making adjustments based off of that response, right? But if you have a coach and he gives you a plan, you don't go into that plan and try to figure out how many calories and macros are in it and then try to... Because what people will do is they'll take that and they'll think, okay, I know how much protein this is, I know how many carbs this is, I know how many fat this is, I know how many calories the overall plan is, so I'll just take that and I'll use this plan as kind of like a guideline, but I'm still going to make substitutions and not do this and that. And people don't realize that there is a huge importance with being consistent with the meals you're eating, the times that you're eating, the volume of food that you're eating. All of this plays into a factor in how we're able to analyze and make adjustments just based off of your response and what's going on and whatnot. If you're just taking those numbers and saying that's all that matters and freely eating whatever is in that range, things are not going to go as planned and it's probably going to be a shit show. So I don't even worry about that. I just do what he says 
and we go from there. And I just put all my faith into him. If everything goes to shit, it's on the coach. It's not on you. <laughs> takes takes a lot of stress off of you as an athlete. <laughs> I, I don't need stress. So this is Phil's job. <laughs>